Hello viewers, this is your host Sushil and I am here with my new video wherein I am going to explain you how to use the function sum, sum if and sum if s in Excel. Well, sum is quite a common function and most of us know its application is to do summation or addition of a range of cells. Now here is a database of certain OEMs with their models, the body, description of the models, the segment to which the models belong and their sales respectively in the month of January, February and March of 2021. Now in case if someone wants to sum up the sales or the sales values in January 21, it can be done in multiple ways of by using the sum function in Excel. One is using auto sum here, that is it, enter, it gives us sum. Another way is to use the sum function here open parenthesis and choose the range for which the sum has to be done close the parenthesis and say enter the second way third way is to go into the formula tab here and use the auto sum sum functionality and say enter but the fourth way which i am going to tell you is very easy and one can use the keys alt is equal to and say enter there it is the sum values are the same whatever method we choose to do the sum functionality or the sum or the addition in Excel. Now friends, sum if is a function in Excel that is to be used when certain criteria or certain restriction are to be imposed. Now in case we have what variety of OEMs listed in here and one of the OEMs will choose Ford and for Ford if we want to find out what was the sale in January 21? It can be found out by doing the summation by using the sum if function. So let us get on to the functionality or how the sum if function is to be used. When one types sum if, there it is. The first thing it asks for is the range. Now this range is nothing else but the range from which the criteria has to be applied or the restriction has to be imposed. So I'm going to the first cell in the B2 cell or B column first cell from that and I'm going to say control shift down key that will choose the complete range for me I'm going to use the function F4 key to lock the cells once it is done I'm going to give comma the next thing it asks for is the criteria the criteria here is the OEM name that is Ford now either I can choose to use the double inverted commas and FORD and close the double inverted comma now friends keep in mind the word here the spelling should be correct there should not be a incorrect caps or uncaps alphabet and there should not be any of the extra or wrong character in here this is one way or i can choose to choose from the cell here that is k2 which has also got the value 4 so i'm going to use k2 once done i'm going to lock this cell also by function f4 then give comma and last thing what it asks for is the sum range. Now sum range is the range from which the sum has to be done. So now since we require the sum from January, I'm going to use, I'm going to choose the range from January here. Once done, I'm going to close the parenthesis and say enter. Now the answer 4141, let us cross check by choosing the cells here and checking here. So there it is, the sum here for 4 in January is very much displayed here. And it is also 4141 that is what we see on the screen so 4141 is the correct answer now let us get on to finding the value of this cell in February I'm going to pull this formula into the next two cells and there it is so now if we understand the algorithm here it says sum if then the range the range has been chosen over here for the OEM then the criteria then the criteria which is nothing else but $k$2 that is the value is 4 in there and then the range from which the sum has to be done that is G2 to G24. So friends this is very important that the correct range is chosen. Mind well I have not chosen the headings or the title of the column. I have only chosen the range from which one has to apply the sum. And the same thing is done for March. Now, if someone wants to find out the value of the sales for Ford OEM for the complete quarter, how can it be done? 
let us apply this sum if formula here and let us check if we can do it so with this sum if i am choosing the range here once the range is done now the criteria here is the oem fold and once fold oem has been chosen now the sum range is what is required now i choose the sum range from january's beginning to march end so from cell f2 up to cell h24 i have chosen the range i am closing the parenthesis and saying enter now viewers you may see that this value 4141 it does not require anyone to be a master but anyone can say that this value is wrong why is it wrong let me explain it so as i said sum if is a function which can be used, and used only for a single criteria the same way the next important thing to keep in mind is sum if can be used for a range that is always equal to the range of the criteria now let me give you ex explanation here so when we chose the range the sum range we chose was from f2 up to h24 which was not very correct and hence the formula did not give us the desired answer or the desired value so keep in mind this is the wrong way of finding out the quarter value and let me explain you how to find out quarter value in some more time from now now let us get on to the next part of this video wherein i'm going to explain you how to use sum if s now we have learned sum sum if and sum if s is the third thing we learned in sum if that only one criteria can be applied whereas in sum if s multiple criteria can be applied so now what does it mean by multiple criteria by multiple criteria i mean we precisely 29 criteria in all can be applied in conjunction with each other i'll give example here so now if someone wants to find out the sales of oem ford and the body as hatch or hatchback how much was the sale say in month of say march or say january let us say find out for january so i'm going to use the function sum if s now what does it require the first thing it requires the sum range so mind well here the sum range comes first whereas in sum if the sum range was the last thing it asked for so the sum range here is over here from january i'm going to lock it by f4 q comma the next thing it requires is criteria range one so now the next thing is now the range from which i have to choose the criteria one is to be chosen here so now my first criteria is oem fold so it appears in the oem column i am i have chosen these cells i am going to lock it always better to lock it q comma then the next thing it, it asks for is the criteria one that is the oem that is fold i have chosen it the next thing is criteria range 2 now what i require here is the criteria 2 is to find out the cell of the hatch so now for choosing hatch as a criteria one i need to choose this range so i have chosen column d wherein all the body styles or body bodies are been listed once done i'm going to lock it then give comma and choose the criteria the criteria here is hatch I have chosen the second criteria and with these two criteria I am going to close the parenthesis and say enter. And there it is. The answer comes out to be 1037. Let me check it. So for Ford as a first criteria, Hatch as a second criteria, the cell here in the month of January is 92 plus 955, 82 plus 955 that is 1037. So the answer here is very much correct. So in this way some if s can be applied. I have chosen two criteria here now let me give you another example of three criteria wherein the oem chosen here is mahindra the body type is suv and the model names are xuv 300 and xuv 500 so now i have to apply three criteria here and find out the sum of the cell so now let us begin we already know the algorithm now sum if s is what we are going to apply here the sum range so now let me choose uh, say month of march so in month of march i have chosen this sum range once chosen lock it 
comma second thing is criteria range now the first criteria is oem so i'm going to choose choose the criteria range here once done the criteria here is mahindra now i can either choose to give mahindra text in double inverted commas or choose the value here from criteria one i'm choosing it i give comma then the second thing is the criteria two that is the body type so i'm going to choose the range for, for the body type once chosen give comma choose the criteria two that is suv give a comma now we come to the third criteria range the third criteria range here is the model name so i'm choosing the range here once done choose the vehicle type or the model name now the models here are two xv 300 and xv 500 so how do i give that let me show you so i'm going to type the text xuv here in double inverted commas and after that i'm going to use the wild character uh, wild card character at asterisk close the double inverted commas and close the parenthesis once done i'm going to enter it and there it is the answer comes out to be 3190 let me check it so for the month of march for Mahindra OEM, for these two SUVs, how much was the sale value? And it is 2587 plus 603, that is 3190. So by using wild character, wild card character, one can choose multiple inputs to a given criteria. So with these examples, I am going ahead further to give another example wherein, if at all someone wants to Someone wants to uh, say uh, do an addition of the sale values which are higher than a given value, say 15,000, as it is written on your screen. Let me use the same values here and find out what is the sum if the sum or the sale value has to be higher than 15,000. Now, in this case, I have to choose the range as the sale values then the criteria here is greater than 15000 so i am going to choose this and then the sum range so sum range again here turns out to be the same range as it was given for the criteria once done i enter it and there it is it gives the answer 38618 let us cross check so in the month of march there are only one and two sales or the two sales values which are greater than 15,000 and if they are chosen it rightly gives the answer as 38618 on our screen so what we get here is quite correct so the sale of March has got only two values which are higher than 15,000 and if those are some if we get a right answer as 38,618 so here we have seen how one can apply the criteria in different ways and opt to choose some if or some if s either or as per the requirement. Friends, let me tell you that it is quite logical to use some if s rather than some if because some if s has got a speciality of applying multiple criteria. So a function which can apply multiple criteria by default can be used for only a single criteria so some if s can substitute some if anytime now friends if i go and add a cell here or add a row here i'm going to use this as a row and i'm going to add here as the next row here and if one sees there has been no change in this because the range what we have chosen was very much above this and it did not include this cell or this row. Now how to get rid of such occurrences because every time you will require to update the formula or change the formula if at all you want to add, append any of the inputs or details in the given database. Well, in one of my earlier videos I have given explanation about this. Let me give explanation again here. So if I choose to use a table here and use a table as a database, it becomes very much possible to use it. So now how to do that? From, go to data tab, choose from table and here 
the table range has been chosen here including the cell or the rows which uh, row which i have added and my table has headers so it considers the top range as a header and with this i say okay there it is so now the table has been formed so this is what it is now if you see one can go and update these values and if at all a table is used by default it will take into consideration the values up here so one can update these values and get the values updated by default because these values when it get added to the table it will give you the right answer and the formulas will get appended accordingly in the tables right so let us move on now going ahead I, I was about to explain you how to find out the quarter values and here is the database wherein we can use the values to find out the cell of that quarter now the database has been appended here wherein a month column has been added and the months january to march data has been appended here in a single column so if you see here it is some if s is used here to find out the values of a cell of four in month of january the same can be used here for the next month that is february again the same methodology we can use some if s and now here the range or the sum range will be the sale values here i have chosen it i'm going to lock it give comma the next thing what it requires here is the criteria range one so criteria range one here is the values to be chosen from the oem and for that we have got the criteria as four and second thing is the second criteria that is i'm going to apply here the month values so the range is the column of the months choose it lock it give comma and now choose the value as january 21 so now or february 21 in this case now i'm going to choose this february 21 and give a comma here or that is all what we have got two criteria i'm going to close the parenthesis and say enter there it is the value of february has come in so here as i explained some time ago that using some if s is always preferred instead of some if now if i want to find out the value of the quarter here now i'm going to use the value or the column wherein i have got all three months listed in as a quarter so now i have got only one criteria here is to apply that is the name of the oem that is four so i'm going to use some if here in this case some if will be applicable and there it is i'm applying some if so the range is what it requires for or ask for and the range is the oem name lock it the second thing what it requires is the criteria that is four and once done i'm going to choose the sum range and in this case i'm going to choose the complete sum range of the sales that includes all the three months of that quarter and so with this i close the parenthesis all the required inputs are in so now what i'll get output is the sale of om4 for the first quarter and that is 17,667. so here it is if i choose the right formula i can get the right answer so applying the logic and algorithm in the right way is the key to the success of applying various formulas so now i have explained you in this for in this video how to uh, so I'll, I'll just wrap up so how to use the sum function in various ways i explain you four ways of applying or implementing the sum function the second thing i explain you was sum if function sum if function is applicable only for a single criteria some if can be used or some if s can be used by using wildcard as well third thing what we learned in this video was how to use some if s function and some if s function can be applied for multiple multiple criteria at the most or maximum of 29 criteria but it is very seldom or very rare that one will use 29 criteria
So viewers, with this I come to the closure of this video. I hope you have liked it, you have learned something new or something you knew earlier but you have refreshed again. So if you have liked the video, please express your likes at the YouTube channel. In case if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe it for many more useful and knowledgeable sharing videos available at the channel and the forthcoming videos notification also. With this, I give you my word that I'll be back with my next video better than this one and till then bye bye